Hey, I'm Ben with your Ask Men video snack, and I'm here to tell you that Spider-Man is real. Not quite, but University of Pacific just got a $1.6 million grant to try and synthesize a spider's web. According to them, this earthly wonder could be the next new ingredient in making bulletproof technology. What's 25 times stronger than steel, a renewable resource, and comes from this poisonous black widow spider? Spider webs, of course. Dr. Craig Vieira of the University of the Pacific and his team received a $1.6 million grant from the National Science Foundation to find a way humans can recreate spider webs. And so we think that there are excellent source for a new generation of engineering materials. To the untrained eye, these spider webs look finer than human hairs, but when you press on them, they have a little give, and that's what has scientists like Dr. Vieira so excited. Spider silk could be used as a replacement for Kevlar. You know Kevlar, right? It's the pricey stuff used to make bulletproof vests. It's that spiders can actually spin, as far as we know it, at least seven different fiber types. And it turns out the movie Spider-Man wasn't so far-fetched. And that fiber type is really rubbery, so it actually behaves much like rubber. And that could lead to a new eco-friendly tire for your car. The silk spun by the creepy, generally unwelcome pests are also being looked at as a source for sutures, aircraft wings, and even bomb-resistant helmets for soldiers. Insects actually can fly into webs and they're designed to absorb a lot of that particular energy from the, the insect, dissipate it without actually breaking. Very cool, but does it ever get any easier to work with the eight-legged stars of arachnophobia? You get used to it. They're not that scary after a while. 